what's something that you're looking to accomplish in the next 12 months? Well, um, I, I, I don't say I don't think I've talked to you since I got it, but about two months ago, I actually got my broker associate license in Ohio. Oh, nice. So now that I'm a broker associate, which still sounds weird to me, um, <laughs> which, which I never really put two and two together because when I look at like a listing online on the MLS, you see their license number, but it doesn't tell you like SAL or whatever. So in my mind, back in 2012, when they went to the whole numbering system in Ohio, where like my license in Ohio was 2016 dot, what, you know, whatever. Yeah. Now that I have a broker associate license, I have a 2023 number. So now if you look on the MLS, if I have a listing, you're just like, this is a brand new guy because you don't, <laughs> you don't know. And I'm like, oh man, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so with that, my goal is in the next month, I'm going to take the Iowa exam. So with Iowa, I actually have to take the national and the state, even though I just passed the national and it took me 90 minutes to do it. I got to take it again. So that's going to be a struggle. So by the end of the year, I'm going to have my Iowa broker associate, my Nebraska and South Dakota broker associate. So that's kind awesome. of my plan is, and you know, and people always ask me, why, why do you want your broker associate? Why, what are you going to do with it? And I tell them, you know, in the beginning, my goal was I want my own brokerage, you yeah. know, but with my current company, I find that I have the freedom to do what I want to do with it, but I don't have to deal with payroll. I don't have to deal with e and insurance and some of the back end stuff, the record keeping. Yeah. I, I don't have to do it, you know? So does it cost me? Yes. Is it kind of annoying? You know, what will we pay? It's always going to be, but I'm not doing it. So it always comes at a cost versus reward um, yeah. that I'm, I'm content because I have a multi-state team, but I have one team. So I have one cap, one team, yeah. one process for everything. And it stays the same pretty well this, on the back end for here as it is in Iowa. So I enjoyed that. Um, and I just, with the, having the broker, it shows people that I am still investing in myself. I'm learning. How can I expect you to do better to learn, to get designations if I'm not doing the same thing? So in a way, it kind of sets the bar and the expectation a little bit higher as to where I want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, I talk to agents about it all the time, you know. What's the real goal of you having or opening up your own brokerage? You know, um, and, you know, obviously our company solves a lot of problems. It's not for everyone, you know, and there may be a point where we outgrow it or change or whatever. Right. But, yep. you know, a lot of times you can you can have the uh, your own brokerage feel without having all of the negatives of owning a brokerage that you just mentioned, you know. Well, yeah, and I'm not paying that, you know, and. And honestly, I looked at different brokerages, but I was like, if I have a franchise fee here and a franchise fee there, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and I well, going with my website. So another thing with new people, if you want to go multi-state, what are you going to do about your website? You know, and that's where like, you know, having Boomtown that I had or have, um, you know, we had to troubleshoot and figure out how I can have more than one website, but still be the same. Yeah. And, you know, where, where do my leads go from here? Where do my leads go from there? Because we always have all of our own agent domains to garner those leads to make business. Um, and I saw one of their examples they gave me was a lady over in the D.C., Virginia, um, Maryland. So they call it the D.C. Yeah. area. So like with that, she was with like uh, C21. And then when she was in Florida, she was with like Sotheby's, which is still owned by the same company, but it's still it's two different companies. Right. And I just, it totally baffled me, you know, as to how that really works or why, you know, I really didn't look much into it, but it still, it intrigues me as to what the thought process is with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. Chris, especially, if, especially if you have that vision or that desire to go multiple States, you know, and to really expand um, your team or your presence into multiple states, you know, it just, it makes sense, um, for a lot of, a lot of us, but Chris, what's, what's something that you're looking to accomplish here in the next five years? So it's funny you bring up Florida is because in the next two, that's one of my goals. So I don't know where in Florida, um, you know, <laughs> my, my buddy's talking about Jacksonville and I have a buddy that does real estate for another brokerage down in Miami. I mean, I love Miami. I love 
you know, Jensen Beach down there. One of my lenders is down in Jensen Beach all the time. North Hollywood. I mean, it's, it's great. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but somewhere in Florida because uh, my daughter, if she has it her way, I feel that she'll probably go to college someday in Florida. So if I already have my license down there and I can just buy a house now before she gets there, you know, it's, it's something we can all enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. Um, Chris, what is a legacy goal of yours? What's something that you want to accomplish when you're no longer here? I don't know. I mean, I just, uh, hopefully I am instilling in my, my two kids, you know, that anything is possible that even if you get knocked down, you know, I've, I've, I've been to the worst and, you know, I've, I've started over, you know, from nothing to what I have now. Um, so just showing my kids, I guess, that uh, resiliency is the key because in sales, somebody's always going to tell you no. Doesn't mean it's not no forever and they may change their mind. Um, so it's just as long as you're resilient and um, what they say, uh, you know, adapt and overcome. So as long as you can do that, I would say pretty much anything is possible and you're, you're never too old to continue, you know, on your goals and your, your mission. Like a buddy of mine, we were just talking the other night and he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm only 40 or almost 40. He's like, you know, I still got, you know, 20 good years of, you know, investing and, you know, the older you get, you can't start over. It's not as easy to start over, but it is possible. Um, so yeah, I would just say my legacy, I guess, would be instilling in my kids, you know, to be resilient and adapt and overcome. And, uh, maybe they'll get into the real estate and enjoy it like I do.